Welcome back to my playthrough. This time I'm going to go through Dark Souls 2. As you can see, I have a lot of characters. I've played this game quite a bit. care. I kind of want to go with a, um, a kind of rapier build. So I'm planning on using a, um, what is it called? Person with the two swords. Swordsman? Whatever they're called. Also plan on doing a pretty leveling up. Not pretty, what am I talking about? A lot of agility. Uh, let's call this one Vids, so that way I know exactly which character is for my videos. <laughs> Swordsman gift. Let's do life ring. Uh, no, I gotta be female. Done. All people come here. And I don't plan on doing the DLC. Because screw the DLC. <laughs> Like, for the most part, like, there are two bosses in each of the DLC which are just fine. And then there's that third one. And the third boss is quite tough. But the real problem is trying to get to the boss. Which is just terrible. And let's just try and get moving. You can kind of go through those fog gates and learn a whole bunch of tutorials. But I'm pro, so I don't need it. Because I am the very best. With such an ego. This is a singing channel, right? Um, around here you can drop down, where is it, you can get a mace? Yeah, you can drop down there and get a mace and binoculars, but I don't really care. I don't think I can use a mace anyway. Eventually I'll probably get enough strength. But for now I want to increase dexterity and some other stuff. I go... There are you will never meet. Okay. I'll come back to this guy pretty quickly so I can get my rapier. Uh in this video I wanna try and get to either the last giant or the pursuer. I guess it just really depends how long um, it takes me to do it. If I can get both of them done in this video that'd be fine. That's an interesting way of doing it, but, like, wouldn't you want some, like, things on the other side of the wheel on top so the rope doesn't fall off? Or am I just overthinking this? Don't answer. Oh yeah, I gotta go level up my Estus now. Unlike the first game, this game you only start off with so that, one Estus. Is that just however... You can find more Estus shards, which will give you one Estus flask. And then you can find bone dust? To get, um, to level up your Estus. And you also have life gems, which are other healing items. But life gems are just items you find. They don't res you don't respawn them like you do Estus. So in my opinion, it's better to use Estus first. Let's 
find Dreamcast as quietly as possible. Okay. Hmm, those pretty blue eyes. Let's get it. One of the things that I think is really flawed in this game is the hitboxes. I think everyone agrees on that. Um, another thing that really kind of annoys me about this game is that they've linked your invincibility frames to a stat. So what invincibility frames were in the uh, original game, I'll get that, I won't get that. Um, or in all the games really, is your, pretty much your ability to roll through attacks without getting hurt. But in this game, you have half of what you did in the first game. So you're pretty much nothing. No wrong one. There we go. Uh, but you can, again, you can level it up. Which is nice. I've been... I haven't really leveled it up a huge amount. I've only seen it go up to pretty much equal am the amount of hit, hit frames, whatever they're called, invincibility frames, from the first game. Would have been nice though if they explained that. I, I know there used to be a bug, I don't know if they fixed it, where um, your weapons break at a much faster rate on PC, uh, mainly because it's running at a f higher frame rate. So if you're running 60 frames per second, it, your weapons break twice as fast. Some type of garbage like that. I know it, if they did manage to fix it, I know it took forever. But I don't know if they did. So either they fixed it and it took forever, or they didn't fix it yet. Years afterwards. I'm not sure, quite sure when this game came out. I do want to beat that depressed knight. I want a sword. Uh, this, in case... Most of you probably would have noticed if you cared. But this is not Scholar of the First Sin. Uh, what Scholar of the First Sin is, is it pretty much juggles the enemies around. Some of it makes a lot of sense, some of it doesn't. Okay, wait, I need to figure out how do I jump. How do I jump in this game? Come on, run. Okay, it's not that. Okay. I would want to make this little jump and get this item. But... The games keep on switching the jumping mechanics. Another sword. Good. Since mine break so quickly, I'm gonna need them. Good job, FromSoft. Good job. No one said these games were perfect. And they aren't. Okay, time for the fun guy. Oh, first I have to... I should do the guy who's playing dead. And where are you, guy playing dead? There you are. Don't fool me. Wow, I don't remember life gems being so farmable. Okay, let's go. Now, that should have totally been a backstab. What is it with this guy? He's so like janky and like it just does not look. Why do you? He has an arrow through his eye. Jeez. 
looks like there's an arrow coming out of his eye hole. Or eye, I guess it's not an eye hole. Whatever. You... That thing. Okay. This weapon's getting close to broken. Thanks, Obama. No, we just stay facing this way. Okay, I'll switch to this weapon for now. So in this game, Estus and Life Gems heal, I feel like they heal, they're not instant healing. Both of them take a little time to do it. And the bombs are so big. Let's heal again, because it got me with that one bomb. Give me that Life Gem. Come on. I'm not gonna bite, but I will cut. And I don't really care about going and getting that. No, I don't have any fire bombs. I can't do the shortcut. There's a shortcut you can unlock if you have fire or you can trick someone into using their fire bombs. However, it just is risky and can really mess things up. First bonfire. Why well, might might go get my a rapier? Uh, first. You want to buy this key? Eh. I don't remember her being that important in terms of consumables or items. Although you don't have the key for this. You can break the door. Great security. Ooh, a radiant lecture. And so you really want to do this early because now you get another Estus shard. So now you're up to three. So more healing. Yay! And if you want to, you can play with other people, but ugh. Um, yeah, let's go back. Nothing's possible. Did I not rest at Majula? Um, oops. <laughs> I didn't light the freaking bonfire. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Okay, let's do it. Let's go all the way back. No. Okay. Wait. There's a gate or something, right? Did I just screw myself? Please don't tell me I just screwed myself. <laughs> okay, good. They knew there would be idiots like me. Well, I could have just gone through things betwixt instead. So no, I did not screw myself. I wonder if you can get killed by that. Now the blacksmith will get back to work. Oh. Ah, yeah. but for Isn't that here? 
however. Lot of dexterity already. Let's get some health and adaptability. Adaptability levels up the substat of, uh, I think it's agility, which in turn levels up how many whatchamacallies there are. Uh, hit invincibility frames. So it's something you want to level up. Yeah, so now it's my agility is at 87. Apparently, from what I've heard, it also will um, level up your. Not level up. And decrease the amount of time it takes to drink Estus or consumables. So it's a really good stat to get. So you're not sitting there you while you get destroyed. I mean, unless you like that. And I don't have enough money. Okay, who do I have to go kill now? No. Oh, whatever. Okay, so let's go back here. So right there is the wall that you can make a shortcut through if you trick an enemy into throwing a bomb. Or you throw a bomb. A fire bomb, I should say. Ain't no witching errands working here. Get what it is, probably just souls that I could have used a minute ago. I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and fight the pursuer. You can fight uh, the Pursuer, which is, in my opinion, best left to be the second boss of the game. But you can fight him first if you want. All you really have to do is go up there. And it's worth it. Um, I mean, no matter what, you end up getting the same stuff. So those are the barrels you want destroyed if hit by fire they burst into flames ow 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 stop it stop it stop walking but i'm a maniac what can i say seriously how are you not Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Forget this. I'm not gonna just sit there and get hurt. No matter what all my exes say, I'm not a masochist. Yeah, now it, they blow up. first boss and then I'll go fight the last giant so at this point I'm really just kind of rushing through um, not really taking my time having fun I do kind of want to 
open this in case I do die. But down here's the first boss, the last giant. The one that I think you should fight first. The big nose. Not even in the game. I forget where you get the key for that, but I think it's later in the game, leading, I think at least to the salamander pit. Oh, seriously? I guess I should have leveled up my health a little bit more. <laughs> well, damn, okay. <gasps> oh, that kind of sucks. Why was I not wearing the life ring? I started with the life ring, come on. Now I might survive getting hit by it. Oh well. Hopefully this won't be as embarrassing. Let's see actually, which one does more damage? Oh, okay. The scimitar does do more damage. Cool. Let's not even bother with this guy. Because I want to find him when I get out of here. Hello! That only did like half health this time. Oh, I'm almost dead. I swear, if I die again to you, I will be so embarrassed. It was actually really close that I actually didn't die. That was so close that I great grammars. Words are hard. Let's go on and level and then get my rapier and 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 go see if I can beat the pursuer. Hello. Looks lovely. should buy two repeaters. You know what? I will. People these days. One of them I will make lightning, the other will I will leave physical. Let's see, how's that? Yeah, the damage on this pretty decent. Yes. Okay, a couple points there, some adaptability, some health. More dexterity and then some more adaptability. Okay. You know what? Let's do. Let's just have my rig gears equipped.
let's use the rapiers on the boss because they do less damage so it'll be fun okay so now that i have the soldier's key i could go fight the boss in its normal area and if i end up dying that's pretty much what i'm gonna have to do. Oh, I have to deal with the bomb thrower. Joy. That guy who would not cooperate with me. You gotta get rid of him. Uh, let's see what ranged... I have a throwing knife and hexing urns. Let's use the hexing urns. Deal with you. Okay. Oh wait, how did you get up there? <laughs> I have to deal with you fast. So this boss has the great weakness of strafing. I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't have a boss health bar on the bottom of the screen. Straight to its right. That attack is quite dangerous. It'll do good damage, but it'll also um, hit you for uh, curse damage. I didn't mean to use a life gem. Curse damage, if I remember correctly, will uh, lower your maximum health as if you die. First playthrough, I struggled so much with this boss. Now it's a joke. Better if I did the weapon. My rapier was upgraded. But now, oh well. So that will pretty much be this video actually. Uh, next video I plan on going and doing clearing out the whatchamacallit area. Oh wait no there's something else that's here. I can get an item. That's right. Uh, there's a way you can get a, another Estus shard. It's not necessarily here, but kind of. You need to unlock something here. Get a key! And there's only one boulder. But I still get PTSD from Sin's Fortress. So you just sit here and talk to this guy forever. Just give me the key. Give me the key. I wonder if you all can hear me just like spamming the X button on my controller. Best workout I've gotten all month. Okay.
I hate how the arrows in this game, they like bend to you as if Magneto was behind them. Tracing the path to you like it did to Mystique. So this area is um, pretty much done for me. The two bosses are dead. I'll just show you where to get that last Estus shard. Then I think after this I'll film one more video for Dark Souls 2 at No Man's Wharf. I plan on doing both bosses because I'm crazy. So with the key, you get access to this house. Do not go to the side of the houses, though. There are tiny little boar things that'll kill you. Ooh, a ferris lockstone. No, it's not No Man's Wharf I'm going. Where am I going? The Tower of Flame. That's where I'm going. Upstairs, there are some things. I forget what exactly. Well, let's see. Ooh, Titanite. I can level up one of my rapiers twice, I think. I think it's twice. Or I can level up both of them once. You do have this little skeleton to deal with. And he has decent health. Although, he staggers really easily. And... Boom, Estus Flash Shard. And on top of that, here you get whatever this is called. Uh, what it does is... The Soul Vessel. What it does is it will uh, allow you to completely respec your character. I don't know if it's completely, though. I shouldn't have said that. Um, I don't know if it takes you back to how you started the game in terms of your levels. Or if it takes you down to 1-1-1-1-1 one, 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 one on all your stats. Either way, it lets you unlevels you a whole bunch and allows you to level up as you see fit. So if you want to change your build or something like that. Well, anyway, thank you all for... No, that's the wrong one. Come on. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.